everyone. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldrich. We've got the New Jersey Nets and the Chicago Bulls. Now here's Gibson. Pass to Boozer. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Six on the shot clock. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. They get it back. And the bucket is good. Free throw attempt of the game here. First team. And the free throw, no good. To the middle. Here's Martin. And he lays it straight in. Assisted. Well, you got to admire and appreciate the unselfishness. I mean, kid always looking up and looking out for his guys. I mean, excellent at finding the open man. Derek Rose. Rose gets the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. The kid, no good. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Todd McCulloch. McCulloch with the basket. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Joaquin Miller. And they pick up two. Rolls a very solid floor general. I think that's an underrated part of his game. He's excellent at finding his teammates. Martin. And too long on the shot. Great start for the Bulls in this one. Four-point game. Inside. Stolen by Boozer. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. And that one's good by Noah. Pressuring the ball and making a play that created the opportunity. You know, you push it after a steal, there's almost no chance the defense can get back and recover. Boy, that's a look. He has to finish it. He knows it. Blown opportunity. Scooped up. New Jersey Another second team. personal foul. I mean, even from over second here, you can foul. see that one pretty clearly. No question that's about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. The Nets still looking like they're getting going. They trail by seven. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. There's Rose with the three. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Boy, it's hard to replace enthusiasm. It can take you so far in the passion. Noah plays with, hustling on the offensive glass, scrappy on the defensive end as well. He's fun to watch. And finished off by Rose. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Now here's Rose. He has six. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Martin, Martin with the bucket. Good to see Martin line. taking the aggressive Jim path Jim inside. Jim. He knows how effective he can be when he does that. Outside Kidd to the left side wing. Here's Kittles. Here's McCulloch. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And, and getting after it on the offensive glass and adding to that early total with the putback. How about early attack mode? I love the approach he's coming to this game with. Really strong. Back to Noah. To the inside. Who's Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Boozer's got his second basket of the game. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Uh, 
unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Now here's Rose, following the miss by Jason Kidd. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Here's Kittles. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Chicago Bull. The Bull on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a comfortable margin for the Bulls here, guys. Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. Here's Kid. The intelligence of Kid coming in to play on offense. He makes sure to draw the foul while shooting. So he hits one of two from the strike. Lee Baz was put in just, just the right spot. Rose has got 12 points in the game. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Here's Gibson. And Van Horn pulls it down. That's trailed by 12. Down low. Kittles. He can't get it to go. Great defense that time from Noah. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Pass to Boos. Stolen away. Kid with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. A nice Van shot by Van Horn. Horn. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and Next push it every foul. time. First personal foul. The first free throw is good. First team foul. Well, I tell you what, this guy gives you everything he's got when he's out there. And that's what you love about Derrick Rose, how fierce he is as a competitor. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. And so it's Rose bringing it up for Chicago. There's the drive. And Rose throws it down hard. Tell you what, Rose can get flashy with the best of them. And the call on the shot that sends his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't get a chance for the and one. Jason Kidd. Both free throws good from Kidd. And when you think of elite floor generals, how could you not think of Jason Kidd? I mean, he makes everybody around him better all the time. Outside Rose. Martin with the block. And he recovers it. Tries again. Got to be careful around Martin. Kenyon Martin's athleticism allows him to send shots in reverse with force. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. Gibson's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. Good awareness that time to put the shot right back up before the defense can react. Kid. Martin trying to free himself up. Kid, no good. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Thanks, guys. Now we see more and more top prospects bypass college or even leave high school early to make six figures playing for G League Ignite. For many years, going pro at such a young age was something we only saw abroad, but that reality is now here. Kevin? I like it too, David. The landscape is shifting, and I think for the better. Thank you for the report. Here's Kidd. Pass to Mark. Good in the Martin. assist to Kidd. Assist from? Six point for Kenyon Martin. Kidd. Ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Boozer trying to get open. They get a bet. Shot clock at six. Here's Rose. 
It is foul offense at the line. Third personal foul. When Rose is attacking, guys, I mean, the defense has to act. He puts them on their heels. Both shots good from the strike. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. To the left wing. Here's McCulloch. Tries to keep it alive. Here's Rose. 16 point lead. Stolen by Boozer. Here's Rose. He's got 18. And he's going up for the alley hoop. And stolen by McCulloch. Outside kid. Pass to Kittle. Misses the three. Chicago leading by 16. Forty-one seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And the basket by Rose. You didn't think Rose would back down from some contact now, did you guys? Playing with a high level of intensity. That free throw, no good. At the line for the Nets. And he's good on the second. And here are the Bulls now. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by Kidd. And he gets the whistle for the three-second goal. Nets trail by 17. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. This one for three. Jason Cans it from downtown. Three. Kidd's got seven points. Oh, the concentration from Kidd. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Stolen by Noah. Got it off in time. And no good on the last second attempt this time. What a performance for the Bulls. 35. The Nets. 21. Second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. To the paint. Stolen by Boozer. In transition, here come the Bulls. Rose has got the ball. And the shot is good. Noah's got the first bucket of the third here for the Bulls. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by Kidd. The kick out to Rose. Here's Brewer. Drops in the layup for two. And the Bulls lead by 18. And it's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Back to Martin. The Nets working the ball around now. Five to shoot. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Here's Van Horn. And the three off target. And here's Gibson. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Over in the corner, Rose. And he uses the glass on the lane. Rose. Rose has got 22. Well, decision-making is something Rose is really good at. Excellent at reading the defense and then exploiting the pick. The heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Rose surveying the D. Pass to Boozer. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. Rose in the post. Lock at six. And Rose throws it down hard. You know, this is what Rose does best to me, guys. A scorer who attacks on offense with unbridled ferocity. Kid with the bucket. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was Next supposed five. to be on it. Team five. And here are the Bulls now. They led the game at one point by 20. Here's Rose. And it's good. Two points. 
26 points for him. You know, you can't let Rose get this close because when you do, he's going to cook you. Here's Martin. And that was no question. He got bumped on that Second shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And both free throws good for Martin. And Martin seems to have his game face on all the time. Plays with a lot of ferocity. A high-flying forward gets after it on defense. Rose. Martin with the block. It's tipped. It's not going to go for him. Excellent defense there from Boozer. And Rose throws it down low. Boy, he's an absolute blur. Derrick Rose, cat-like quick. Pass to Mark. Here's Van Horn. Defended by Gibson. Upside kid. Here's Van Horn. Can't cash in from close range. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes Next, gone by. First personal foul. And he makes the first. Second team foul. At the line for the ball. And so he hits both. There's 138 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Kidd, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here. Kidd, and his position is his size and strength, which is how he's able to create for others, but also convert through contact. New Jersey, second. First one falls for him. 13 foul. And Rose drops them both. That's trailed by 19. Right side kid. Count it good. Jason Kidd. Kidd's got 11 here in this quarter alone. And how about the game from Kidd? I mean, we know he's an elite passer, but when his team needs points, this guy can carry the load as well. Now we're trying to get open. Martin with the block. Kittle. From outside, off the mark. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. From deep. Good in the assist to Kidd. Kittle's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Now here's Rose. 30 points in the game. From deep three-point range, Chicago now working with the new shot clock. And they get it back. There's another opportunity. Everything's going right for these guys. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Out to the right wing. Here's Kittles. And again, New Jersey with the triple. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from the front contest. Here's Rose. Pass to Brewer. The three. New Jersey with the rebound. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Kittles, no good. The Bulls leading by 13. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by Kidd. Gibson up top. In the corner, it's Brewer. Just five on the clock. With some arc. They grab their own miss. Buries it down low. Noah's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Chicago. Pass to Kittles. For three, Kidd. McCullough, nice persistence to tip it back up and in. You know, his positioning near the hoop, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. A splendid pass that time by Rose. Here's Kittles. A three ball. 
And that one goes out of bounds. Last time. So it's New Jersey now. 15-point game. Inside. Tipped away. Here's Kidd. Love the intensity on defense there. Rose enjoys getting after it and making a difference at that end of the floor. And Rose throws it down. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. And you could just see the foot speed was an issue for the defender there as he just sails in for the layup. Rose gets a wide open look. Nail from three-point land. Rose has got 17 now, just in the second half. And foul. They get Carlos Bruce. And this is where Martin can really hurt you, which is why defenses resort to fouling him. And he sinks the second. Here's Rose. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Jason you know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. And the dunk by Rose. A flash of that athleticism yet again. It's clear Rose enjoys getting up and punching it down. Pass to Martin. And finished off by Martin. Kenyon Martin. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so Two many pieces. Can be game changer. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. At the line, he doesn't get the second one. And Boozer, quite the efficient scorer, banger in the post. Where that pass was going, that is a brutal turnover. From deep, Rose. There's the triple. That shot misses. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Keith Van Horn. Kid, one of the most remarkable passers I've ever seen. I mean, a pass-first point guard, he sets you up in room service style. Rose up on top. For three, gets the three-point before. Rose has got 42 in the game. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. Yeah, I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. For three, kid. The shot that time, not on target. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Pass to Noah. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by Kidd. Six to shoot. Here's Rose. Noah trying to get open. Rose, that's good. Rose has got 44. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Twenty-six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Back to Brewer. Jacks up a three. Offensive rebound. Who's off with the layup? Here's Kittles. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you gotta love that action. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you gotta commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play you almost a perfect game and to have that crowd.